told them to be tough. Then you should get to know me. I'll teach you other stuff. I'm Madeline, I'm Madeline. I may be very small. I'm Madeline, I'm Madeline, but inside I'm tall. She may be teeny tiny, timid, deep, but that has never stopped her from being pretty neat. in an old house in Paris that was covered with vines. Lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. Allons-y, little girls, hurry! They left the house at half past nine. In two straight lines, Never forget you, Pepito, our favorite neighbor. Miss Clavel counted everyone in line and said, We are missing Madeline. Bonjour! Huh? When it came to being right on time, no one could beat Madeline. Genevieve says we had better hurry. <laughs> <laughs> on the first day of their winter vacation, the girls and Pepito dashed to the train station. The taxi driver got them there without a moment left to spare. Fortunate we are that my Aunt Hilda has invited us to visit her in the Alps. We oui, and she lives in a chalet. Is a chalet like a castle? No, mes petites. A chalet is well. You shall see for yourselves. Regardez. <laughs> Giddy with anticipation, each traveler's imagination designed a wondrous destination. And be muy peligroso. <gasps> Very dangerous. How can the beautiful snow be dangerous? Snow monsters! Monsters! Pepita told of a creature that could be captured by no man. A ghostly giant. The abominable snowman. It sent a chill down every spine. It even frightened Madeline. Pepito, stop! This talk, monsters are not real. We oui, no more of this scary stuff. Now, little ones, please try to get some rest. You have a big day ahead of you. <gasps> At last, regardez, we are here. There is 
there's hardly any snow. Where is the snow? We, we want snow! At least Pepita's abominable snowman did not come to meet us. Not yet! Does the abdominal snowman wear bells? Ah, here is my nephew, Hans. Guten Tag, girls! Good day, Aunt Claire. Bonjour, Hans. My, how you have grown. My grandmother is so anxious to see you. Will, will there be, be more snow? snow? Will it snow? <laughs> you will have to ask grandmother. <laughs> In a bumpy old carriage, they admired the view. The mountains were snow-capped and the sky all oh, so blue. Look, a little goat up on that mountain. Yole! Hans, is something stuck in your throat? No, Pepito. Hans is yodeling. Yole! 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 I think this goat likes your yodeling, Hans. Yole! Yole! Hans's yodel was so loud, but he attracted quite a crowd. <laughs> Not much later in the day, the group arrived at the chalet. Dear Aunt Hilda, welcome, Clara. Welcome, children. Come in. That was a good story, Aunt Hilda. Tell us another. See, si. tell us one about the abominable snowman. Now, now, Pepito. Have you ever seen the abominable snowman? I? Why? Of course. Aunt Hilda. One winter, I was out at the woodshed when I heard a strange sound. I turned around and found a snow-covered giant staring straight at me. Did you scream? Yeah, I screamed because he was standing on my toe. Then what did he it do? He ran away, and ever since that day, I know by that toe, then it's going to snow. Oh, Aunt Hilda, your imagination is as good as Pepito's. Then Aunt Hilda's toe felt suddenly warm. I think we are in for a monstrous storm. Storm warning. Blizzard moving in tonight. Repeat. Snowstorm alert. Snow will accumulate up to two feet in mountain areas. Let us hope there is not too much. Later, the children ate gingerbread and brushed their teeth and went to bed. But they thought they heard some monsters peep and not even one could fall asleep. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on the light and said, Something is not right. Miss Clavel ran fast and faster, hurrying toward the new disaster. Miss Clavel, save us! What is it, mes petites? The monster! What monster? The abominable snowman. He is outside our window. Listen! Regardez! There he is! Quelle horreur! It is the abdominal snowman! The abominable snowman! I am not so sure, Chloe. No, Madeline! Do not go near him! C'est ça! I thought it was you. Meet the abominable Pepito. Hola! Ah, ah. 
Pito, that was not funny. Now you should be able to sleep. You will have lots of snow to play in tomorrow. Bonne nuit. Bonne nuit. Good night, you Miss Lavelle. Bonne nuit, Monsieur Snowman. <laughs> That's how monsters say. Good night, Mademoiselle. <laughs> <laughs> The new fallen layer of precipitation exceeded every expectation. Yippee! Madeline, where are you? Oh. <laughs> the air was crisp, the sky was fair, but Hilda warned them to beware. Ouch! For she sensed trouble in the air. Graceful and confident on her skates, Madeline carved perfect figure eights. Bravo, Madeline! Say, Magda, you are great! Ooh. Ah! Everyone thought this was quite fine. until Genevieve skated Ooh. number nine. The dog could glide with such precision. Ah. She could even skate in long division. Though she tried hard as she was able, Miss Clavel remained unstable. Ah, there, I have it. Their favorite teacher did her best. Whoa, whoa. But in the end, whoa. she had to rest. Oh. Merci, little ones. I think that it is time for me to go back home and have some tea. Okay. Now, my friends, what would you like to do next? Everything! Give us snacks! I dream about a blanket A blanket that's not warm It's the blanket we see on the ground After a winter storm Give us snow! Snow the lady, oh, 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 snow, white snow. I dream of putting on my skis and shushing down the slope. So when I feel the first snowflake, it lightens me with hope. Give us snow. Building a snowman to join me on my sled. Then we'll skate around the frozen pond till it's time to go to bed. Give us snow, white, white snow. Give us snow. Snow the lady, oh, oh, oh. Snow. at the top, Genevieve. Genevieve, hear something. Listen. It is the abominable snowman. I knew it. No, Pepito. I am afraid it is something much worse. Much worse? What could it be? Oh, no. An avalanche. <gasps> Do not panic. Get into the sled! <laughs> Hang on, my friends! Do not worry, Genevieve. We will make it. I hope.
They zoom downhill and zipped down Dale with a deadly avalanche right on their tail. Okay, everyone, lean left. Ah! We made it. <laughs> These ones lose. <gasps> Très bien. My little ones are safe. But the road is blocked. Hans will telephone for help so we can be found. If the abominable snowman doesn't find us first. <laughs> Hilda was serving gingerbread when a flustered Hans came in and said, The telephone lines, they're all dead. Oh no, we shall be stranded forever. Do not worry, Chloe. A rescue team is sure to find us. But that was our last gingerbread. And so... The Two days passed as they tried to stay cheerful. Aunt Hilda told stories by the earful. And the boys were still <laughs> quite fearful. Madame Hilda, s'il vous plaît, tell us another story. Well, there is one about... Oh, what is that? What is that, what is that noise? Do you hear it? it? Oh. Airplanes! They are here to rescue us! Open 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 but the sound of propellers soon diminished until they were completely finished. The minutes crawled by, the wait seemed long. Then ah. Madeline said, Let us try a song. <laughs> I do not feel like singing. Then how about yodeling? Yodeling? Yeah! The pilots might be able to hear it. Yodeling! From their throats came rousing notes that no one seemed to hear. Look, we go they. But goats. <laughs> Keep your chins up, mes petites. The planes will return. When all seemed bleakest with despair, <gasps> Madeline noticed a shiny pair of ice skates hanging on a chair. C'est ça! That is it! <laughs> this is how to get attention, said Madeline, explaining her intention. Très bien, Madeline. It is a wonderful plan. Très bien. In two straight lines upon the ice, they followed Madeline's advice. Carefully and with finesse, they carved three letters, S-O-S, -S, the international signal of distress. Hilda began to point and cheer. The planes are back. They're coming here. The aircraft made their spirits soar. But then it was quiet. They heard nothing more. They will return. You shall see. Come, I shall make some chamomile tea. Now we are certain to be here forever. No, Chloe, that is not so. Madeline, how do you know? Why is it, Madeline, that you are never afraid? Sometimes I feel afraid, just like you. And you. You do? But I never give up hope. When everybody turned around, they heard a very <gasps> frightening sound. Crunching footsteps in the snow were approaching very slow.
With a gust of wind, the door opened wide. <gasps> and two large creatures stepped inside. The abominable snowman! Hide! The snowmen stomped their heavy feet. And off came snow and ice and sleep. These monsters have no claws. They are wearing boots. And mittens. And ski masks. It is the rescue patrol. Look, they have supplies. And a snowplow. Madeline's message on the ice proved a life-saving device. The pilot saw the SOS and made the call to send the ground patrol to find them all. Merci, Madeline. Danke schön, Madeline. Madeline's hope and her persistence had brought the group this fine assistance. Hilda said as she swept the floor. That's all there is? There isn't any more. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!